Look at the rest of the big tech names. Uh, they're all up, not as much as Apple by any means, but we've got Facebook up three bucks, Microsoft is up a buck 31, and so on down the line. But listen to this. Our next guest says, don't buy them. Don't buy big tech right now. Who's saying this? David Barnson, and he's with us right now. Uh -huh. You running against the grain here of the market for the last, what, three, four years? Don't buy big tech now? Make your case. Well, it's really just driven by valuations. These are some of the best companies on the planet. I've maintained that forever. Uh, Amazon, uh, even down $50 today, is up in a way over the last six months, year, five years that is unlike anything we've ever seen. It's amazing. But you're looking at Amazon at 120 times earnings. You're looking at Netflix at 150 times earnings. And my argument is only this. The real interest rate has been doing nothing but go down for 10 years. And these high growth companies have been doing nothing but go up because their earnings have been getting re-rated against a declining real rate in society. That real rate is very low and it's going to stay low, but it can't go lower. It can't provide more boost to multiple valuation. Therefore, their earnings, which have doubled in the last five years, can't get a five times increase in valuation as they have the last five years. So I think this okay. long awaited shift from quote unquote growth to value is definitely coming. I can't time it exactly. I have no interest in timing it. I'm making a statement, Stuart, mm -hmm. that we've never in history had the leadership group from one decade be the leadership group in the next decade. So I'm looking 10 years out and saying it's not going to be those same names. If there is a shift, uh, okay, an albeit a gradual shift away from these, the, from big tech towards value, a lot of our viewers might not know what are value stocks, what kind of industries are represented as value industries. Can you tell us? Yeah, I wish that our viewers never had to learn what a growth stock or value stock is because those definitions to me are, are so inadequate. Everybody wants a company that's growing and everyone wants to buy a company at a value. But what they generally mean by it, Stuart, when they use those terms in the industry is that value represents something that's trading at a discount to kind of what its intrinsic value would be. It's a more Warren Buffett type model. I'm sure a lot of viewers would be familiar with that. For us, as you know, we're focused on value that can be found in cash flow generative businesses. Companies are generating a lot of cash flow and are sharing that with their investors. So you get a year like 2020 where markets have had a lot of difficulty, but investors, for example, at the Bonson Group are still receiving the same income or more that they received last year because those dividends are not requiring the stock prices to be going higher all the time. So I think okay. that the value orientation we'd focus on are not companies excite, as exciting as Netflix, but they're companies that are far undervalued relative to that space and will pay you to hold them and grow that income year over year. OK, D give me just give me 20 seconds and tell me you can find me a 5 percent or 6 percent dividend yield in a well-known stock where that dividend is absolutely secure. You can find that today, can you? Yeah, I can find it in about 20 names. And in fact, we do that for our clients day in and day out. And so, you know, I'm always willing to talk to you, Stuart, about individual names. Uh, everyone's heard of Verizon. Verizon's dividend isn't going anywhere. They're rock sol solid growers. 5% plus, it's going to grow over time. Um, you look at your Procter Gamble's, Coca-Cola's, Johnson Johnson's, McDonald's. Some of those aren't necessarily at five now because their stock prices come up. But when you look at how they've grown the dividend, not for five years or 10 years, but for 40, 50, 60 years, growing it year over year, many people are getting 20 or 30 percent per year from what they originally paid for the stock. How is that for 20 seconds? That was actually about 40 seconds, but we'll let you get away with it because it was really good stuff. You know, it's just fascinating to shift away from stocks which have just been going up and up and up and up and up to stocks which really pay you, pay you, pay you, pay you, pay you. That, and I find that a fascinating shift. And I, uh, let's see if you're right. David Barnson, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us, sir. Appreciate it.